if you want to get smarter you've clicked on the right video this whole channel is going to make you smarter make sure you hit subscribe hit the bell icon so the next question i had to ask you was that have you read anything about occult aspects in physical intimacy uh do you know like i know that tantra contains some occult aspects so let's let's begin this whole section of the podcast with you explaining tantra to a 20 year old what what is it what does the word tantric mean what is tantric sex what is the world of tantra in the modern day there's no such thing as tantric sex let's get that straight okay so that for your for your average 20 year old so if i have to explain tantra in a couple of lines um which is not easy the ultimate goal in tantra is to achieve god okay but they believe that everything is created by god that means that you have to understand everything there's no such thing as this is good knowledge and this is bad knowledge this is pure this is impure everything had to be understood so that you could actually get beyond this um, this uh, veil of illusion behind which we live and in understanding each thing you grow your mind so you grow the awareness levels of your mind which means that you open it up more and more the idea being that you get to one point eventually where you are so aware so we don't talk about subconscious and conscious we talk about different levels of awareness you become so aware that you are able to see everything clearly around you with the naked eye so they back in the in those times they say that you can see the molecules with the naked eye that's not exactly what it means if you imagine science tells us that the brain is capable the brain has approximately what 5 million stimuli at one time or something like that it's it's bombarded with that we pick up only a handful of them as you grow your levels of awareness you are able to pick up more stimuli around you so you notice more that is the final aim so you you kind of get past this veil of illusion this is what they mean when we talk about somebody being able to uh, in quantum mechanics uh, they say that if you keep walking into a wall a million times eventually you'll be able to walk through it so the idea here is that they say that you can reach that level of awareness that you can see the molecules with the naked eye so that you can actually disengage the mo- molecules and atoms and find a way through that wall that level of awareness now we know that this is something that may not necessarily happen you can't disengage the molecules but as a scientist as an engineer you know exactly what i'm talking about so this whole idea of um being able to understand each thing one bit at a time to grow your energy to expand your mind you needed the energy to do it with that energy is they talk about it as the kundalini and they think that that's what it's about it's not about arousing the kundalini it's about that whole sexual arousal harnessing the strength from it because energy that is out of control is going to be destructive so you had to build your mind enough to know that you would be able to harness this energy when it came your way hence there is a great deal of um, tantra is not about sex but there's a, a great many practices that are based around sexual practices or sexual yoga the idea being to come to that level of meditation to to balance the mind to grow the mind does that make sense yes i mean uh, i do have some amount of knowledge of tantra antra so i'll just give it out for the listeners uh basically spiritual practices that are for general benefit for unselfish reasons it's referred to as antra and tantra in the world of yoga is spiritual practices which are kind of for yourself to benefit something within yourself am i right in saying that ma'am well you know again okay that's like a a one line answer to a very deep concept but um for me okay so you know the agori saints for instance you heard of yes. the agoris now people are always a bit horrified when you say that the agoris are the ones who will live in the cremation grounds and their practice is to eat a lump of raw flesh from the cremation ground or the the body that's burning on the pyre but they say that if we say that this whole world is an illusion and we have to get past this illusion then there should be no difference between that lump of flesh and this lump of cabbage 
It mm. should be the same thing. Mm. This is all this world of illusion that we live within, this veil of illusion that we live behind. So it's not easy. Um, mm. And unfortunately, we don't, most of us don't have the capacity because it takes a hell of a lot of inner being to give that up. I mean, can you imagine yourself doing that? I can't. I can't see myself even going down that path. Right. So I think that it's just extremely deep. Um, I just find it very frustrating because everybody who talks about Tantra talks about sex and it's just constantly trying to remind people that that's not what it was about. If people really want to go off and actually um, understand a little bit more, there is a group of goddesses called the Mahavidyas, the goddesses of ultimate knowledge. There are 10, these are 10 goddesses and they're worshipped only with tantric uh, practices, solely. The top, and they're in a hierarchy, so the topmost is Kali, the bottommost, incidentally, is Lakshmi. Even Lakshmi is included in this group of Mahavidyas. So Lakshmi is a Hindu goddess, a, a traditional Hindu goddess, plus she's a Mahavidya where she is worshipped through tantric practices. Read about them. It's fascinating. Like I said, I think that the biggest um, disprivilege that we've had, I mean, the, the worst thing that could have been does, done to us as a nation, as a race of people, is that all our ancient literature was boxed up and put away and shut up, and we have lost all of it. There is just so much um, knowledge and awareness over there. Thank you.